Black Panther Wakanda Forever just came out, winding up a year that was chock full of Marvel content. Three movies, three Disney Plus series, five shorts about Groot, and two hour long specials this year. But if that wasn't enough, we also got the movie of all time Morbius from Sony this year. Now that is a lot to catch up on. But don't worry, because you actually don't need to watch any of these before seeing Wakanda Forever. What do you need to have seen before Wakanda Forever? Well, you don't need to have seen any of the old TV shows, shorts, specials, or Sony movies. If you only have time to watch one movie, you should watch the original Black Panther. The writers assumed that you'd already seen this movie, and there's a ton of stuff in the new one that won't make sense without seeing the original. If you do have time to watch a second movie, I would definitely recommend adding in Captain America Civil War. This movie introduces the Black Panther and the people of Wakanda, and the first Black Panther movie picks up right where this movie ends. If you can add in a third movie, I would just stick with these two, honestly. <laughs> but if you can watch four movies, I would add in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, which bridge the gap between the first and second Black Panther movies and provide some minor context for the new one. If you want to watch two more movies in addition to these, I'd actually recommend watching The Falcon and the Winter Soldier instead. It's a six episode series which is the length of two movies, so we can count it as two. It picks up after Avengers Endgame and deals with some of the fallout from both Endgame and Captain America Civil War as relates to the Wakandans. If you have time for a seventh movie, I would definitely add in Avengers Age of Ultron at the start. This movie gives backstory for one of the main villains of the original Black Panther, and also backstory for the way Wakanda is perceived by the outside world, plus a ton of important, you guessed it, backstory for every single other movie in our watch list. And finally, if you want to watch 10 movies before watching Wakanda Forever, I'd add in the first two Captain America movies and the original Avengers movie. These don't relate much to Wakanda Forever, but they give a lot of really valuable context for all the other movies that are already in our watch list. And that's my final list. My recommendation personally is just watch Civil War and Black Panther. You don't really need the rest. But if you want a thorough recap, this will give you a good recap of the universe without needing to watch all 430 hours of content. This video is sponsored by mcuwatchlist.com, the app which uses graph theory and algorithms to give you a personal Marvel watch list recommendation. Again, that's mcuwatchlist.com. Thanks for watching.